These are the top 20 things to do in New York City. After making videos about life here in New York for so long, I feel like it's time I comprise this list of all of my favorite things to do here in the city that I believe are perfect, whether you're just visiting here in New York or if you've lived here for your whole life. So first up is the oldest bar in the city, which dates back to 1762. If you are a big history buff, you gotta come and get a drink here at the Francis Tavern. This was the local watering hole for a lot of the founding fathers of America, including George Washington himself. Francis Tavern is also where George Washington gave his famous farewell address and now is a great spot to grab a drink and a history lesson about America. So now we are about to experience one of the most iconic New York City shows at the Friends Experience. I truly think it's impossible to not smile and enjoy this place. If you're a Friends fan, this is a must-see and just will make you feel so nostalgic. You're able to recreate scenes, pivot, pivot, as well as learn more about the show and even poke ugly naked guy. <laughs> I love that they have the actual chopsticks for the ugly naked guy stick. <laughs> so in addition to having all the recreated sets, they also have actual memorabilia. Like right here, they have Ross's famous leather pants. They're still not coming on, man, and the lotion and the powder have made a paste. <laughs> this has to be the most famous apartment in New York City. Then you'll end it off here at Central Park with the coffee. The Friends Experience is about $50, but if you book through my Get Your Guide link in the description down below, you will get 10% off. So as you guys know, Get Your Guide is a partner of mine, and I do get an affiliate commission if you book with my link, which truly helps the channel out a lot, as well as gives you guys 10% off everything on their sites. And that's what's awesome about Get Your Guide. Since they have over 60,000 experiences in over 3,600 places around the world. So whether you want to book a boat ride in Croatia or go to the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, you can use my link down below and get 10% off everything on Get Your Guide. I honestly use my own link when I am booking experiences since it truly is a great price. Get Your Guide does also have 24-7 customer service as well as 24-hour cancellation policy. So definitely check them out by clicking the link in the description down below. The next must see in NYC is Chinatown. There are a ton of things to do here from the Chinatown Arcade to some of the best restaurants in the city. Some of my personal favorites are Bodhi Bodai, Nam Wa, and Mei Le Wa. So now this place that we are about to go eat at is called Mei Le Wa. And I'm going to be accompanied by my friend Vinny What's up? <laughs> Vinny is from here in Chinatown and yes. is also a photographer or you do food stuff as well, right? Yes, I do both. Yeah, if you guys are looking for some cool cheap eats here in New York City, definitely check out his page. But for now, let's get some pork buns. Let's go. <laughs> and what this place is known for is their pork buns. I know, Vinny. Would you say that these are some of the best pork buns in all of Chinatown? This is my favorite spot yeah? for barbecue pork buns. <laughs> I used to buy two or three of these and eat them all the time. I feel like it is such a great cheap eat since this was $1.95. I feel like, you know, it won't fill you up for lunch, but you get two or three of these, you got a great meal, some great Chinatown cheap eats. Now the observatory that you must see in NYC is Summit One Vanderbilt. I'd say this is less of an observatory and more of an experience since it makes you feel like you're in a Christopher Nolan movie. Now why I think this observatory is so cool is because it's not just your typical roof deck where you look at the incredible view of New York City. It's actually very immersive and has seven different activities for you to go through. So this first one is my favorite. This is the transcendence where there's just mirrors and glass everywhere. So it just makes for these trippy shots to get some incredible photos and videos. And also it's just a lot of fun. This experience is about $45, but you can get 10% off by using my Get Your Guide link in the description as well.
Next up is a company called See the City. They offer jet skis as well as a floating hot tub experience. So now we are about to do something that has been at the top of my bucket list to do here in New York City, where I got nine of my friends and we are about to go in this hot tub Woo! and cruise through the city. Guys, cheers. Cheers. Friends, not best friends. <laughs> best friends, sorry, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> this was so much fun, and I did do it during summer, which was great, but I can't wait to do this again during the fall or winter. Also, if you guys do book this before September 1st and use BrettCon20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off. We'll leave a link down below. Now, if you don't want to sail the Hudson in a hot tub, I do also recommend checking out Classic Harbor Line. My friends and I love to do this since you get some awesome views of the city as well as they even have a bar. These cruises range anywhere from about $40 to $80, but is something you must do in NYC. So while you are here in New York, you are gonna be walking a lot. So come here to Culture Espresso and treat yourself to a cookie. These are personally my favorite cookies in the entire city. I have showcased it before in videos and it was just the chocolate chip cookie which is extremely delicious, soft and gooey. But this one is their black and white or zebra cookie that I think is even significantly better. Let's see if we get a good cookie pull. Nope. Not a good pull cookie on this one. Incredible. Mmm. Now this next thing, I'm not gonna lie, I did learn from Carrie Bradshaw on Sex in the City, which is trapeze. This is on the west side along the Hudson River and is a super fun activity. They also make it easy so anyone can do it. Highly recommend this. Central Park is a must. It still blows my mind that this massive park, which is larger than the country of Monaco, is in the center of Manhattan. There's so much to do here from finding one of the five waterfalls, renting a rowboat for $20, or some of the other hidden gems. So this right here is Cleopatra's Needle, which is actually one of the oldest man-made objects in the entire country since this is from a ruin in Alexandria that then has made its way across the world to here in Central Park. Then right here in the middle of Central Park, you have the Belvedere Castle. And when the Belvedere Castle was built, it was actually used as a lookout so that they were able to read the weather. Can't go in it now, but it is still cool to come here and get some photos of this castle in Central Park. What's up, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you. The guys are really actually moved to New York. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Oh, it's fucking cool. <laughs> Keep going, you are amazing. Your videos are amazing, inspirational, everything. So nice to meet oh, you. It's fucking cool, man. How we going, man? Yeah, you too. Take care, man. Welcome to the city. Thank you. Yeah. I never had someone come up to me and just like hug me five times. <laughs> I know, that was so cute. I love it. So now we are here at the Luncheonette Lexington Candy Shop. This place was created in 1925 and just feels like you go back in time as you enter. They make soda the old fashioned way as well as have root beer floats and malteds. And what's so cool for me coming here is because my grandfather was raised in the Bronx and actually met my grandmother because he worked at a soda shop place like this and used to make the best malteds and that's how he won her over. So something every New Yorker needs to do is watching sunrise from the apex of the Brooklyn Bridge. This bridge is such an iconic part of New York City and gives you a beautiful vantage point of all of Manhattan and Brooklyn as well. I highly recommend to go for sunrise, not just because the lighting will be golden hour, but also because for this one hour in the morning, NYC 
actually feels peaceful. I mean, come on, look at this. We're in the middle of the Brooklyn Bridge at sunrise with the views of Manhattan. Life doesn't get much better than this. Also right now it's about 6 a.m. and this is probably the only time that New York is actually the slightest bit quiet. So whether you woke up early for it or still awake from partying the night before, definitely experience this at least once. Now it wouldn't be a Brad Conti New York City video without Village Square Pizza. So when you do come here to Village Square, not only do you have to get the pepperoni square sliced with hot honey, but you also have to come and see Armando. Hey, what's up guys? Armando Always is here. <laughs> an iconic New York City legend. So you gotta come here, get the square pepperoni, and say what's up. Get lost in the sauce. Do people from the videos ever come in here and see you? Yeah. Yeah? Bro, it's, 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 Pretty cool, man. It's, <laughs> it's something else that. <laughs> well, you can't get confused. If you see a guy with the pepperoni tattoo, you know you got the right guy. <laughs> it really does not get much better than this. For those of you who have never been a part of a sober rave at sunrise on the top of an NYC skyscraper, then you need to check out Daybreaker. Daybreaker hosts sunrise meetups in super unique NYC locations, where you first do yoga, then there is a completely sober dance party. If you're new to the city, this is great because I met a lot of new friends here and it's just an overall experience of a lifetime. A park that you gotta check out here in New York is the High Line. In the 1930s, it actually used to be a railway, but since then, they have transformed it into this elevated park that stretches over 20 blocks where there's a bunch of art installations, places to grab food, hangouts, and a bunch of greenery, which is rare here in the city. One of my favorite things to do, though, is look at all the insane apartments that are off of the High Line. I know Ariana Grande has an apartment over here and a bunch of other celebrities, so currently trying to find my future apartment. Now besides pizza, New Yorkers pride themselves on their bagels. There are dozens of incredible places, but my personal favorite is Tompkins Square Bagel. I've been coming here for my whole life and love their bagels. They make them fresh every day and just whenever I take a bite, it just feels like home. So I went with the classic bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel. I got a everything bagel toasted with cream cheese and bacon. Is that a thing to get cream cheese with bacon? Yeah. That's e a thing? Even like, even better than this is like a bacon, egg, and cheese with cream cheese. Whoa. Bacon, egg, and cream cheese? No, no, cheese and cream cheese. So you get both. The classic bacon, egg, and cheese is such a staple in New York City, where yeah. if you come here, like, this is just, this is not gonna disappoint. So every night in the summer here at Bryant Park, there is a free movie night where hundreds of people get blankets and set up to watch a movie with the city skyline in the background. A pro tip though, come early and set up your blankets and all your stuff because even though the movie doesn't start until dusk, it does get crowded very quickly. Next up is doing the climb on top of the edge. With this experience, you get strapped into a jumpsuit where you then climb to the top of the edge to where you then dangle off the side of one of NYC's tallest skyscrapers. Man, I really need to do that again. There are a bunch of great speakeasies here in the city, but my personal favorite is Backroom. Backroom is one of two of the last standing speakeasies that have been around since Prohibition. This bar is located in the Lower East Side, and when you're on the streets, just look for a sign that says Lower East Side Toy Company, then go down the stairs, through the alleyway, towards the toy cards that say police, and it'll be the door on your right. Backroom also still serves all their drinks and tea glasses, since that's how they serve them during the Prohibition time, and truly makes it feel like you're traveling back in time. Also, every Monday at 9 p.m., they have live jazz music. Super cool spots. Whether you are visiting the city or just want a fun date idea, you should totally check out Shot of Art. Yeah. 
So how this works is you get a blank canvas like this and they do all these unique, super cool ways to paint your canvas. And in addition to that, we're also gonna use ourselves and our clothes as the canvas. Time to be a clothing designer. Let's get dirty. Let's kick it off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the next Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot better with the camera than with uh, a balloon full of paint. <laughs> So this is our masterpiece. I am so happy with how it came out. This is so cool. I can't believe that we made this from shooting balloons with a BB gun. I feel like this should be hanging up in the Louvre. Now last, but certainly not least, is getting a bird's eye perspective of the city. Flying in a helicopter with no doors on it while you're dangling over NYC is a must for every adrenaline junkie. I have always done this experience through Fly Nyon since they are the company that offers it with no doors on their helicopters, so you can hang out the side and get the most incredible views of New York City. Now this is a couple hundred dollars, but is definitely a bucket list item. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top 20 list of things to see here in NYC. I will link all of these activities down below in the description, but if there are any that I missed, make sure to comment them down below. But until next week, let's get out and get busy in the next one. Bye.